Hey folks, it's Brian here and it's time for another Jeep video. I think this one's Jeep number 38. So I'm gonna work on the engine again today and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out the idler pulley and the tensioner. Idler pulley is a little noisy and the tensioner pulley doesn't really spin the way I think it should. So I'm gonna replace them. They're both cheap parts. Uh, I got them through Rock Auto, like 20 bucks a piece, something stupid like that. Not worth the hassle and a lot easier to do it with the engine out than with the engine back in the Jeep. So let's do it to it. Because this is a crucial component, um, I ordered a Deco. Uh, it is Deco part 89007 in case you're shopping. Um, and you can see here, you don't hear anything. Bearing is worn the hell out. Let me find this and I will be right back. Okay, that is a 14 millimeter socket. So it's only a 35 foot pounds according to the Jeep factory service manual, so it's not it's not a significant uh, it's not very tight. Oh really? Okay, I was a little bit irritated there. I thought it was gonna turn out to be screwed into Another piece. That's a shot, aside from being grooved. No noise, that's what it should sound like. So we'll go ahead and put that on there. Uh, need to put some Loctite or chalk tight for Chinese thread lock. So I'm not gonna apply it to the bolt, I'm gonna apply it to, well, okay, I am gonna apply it to the bolt because I can't, there's not enough in here to apply it to um, the threads. All right, now I need a torque wrench. So we're gonna dial it back to 35 foot-pounds. And then we're going to lock it in. Okay, not a lot of torque on that one. All right, so next we're going to deal with this. That should spin freely, it doesn't. So that suggests that it's shot. Uh, let me find which uh, T-bit this is and I'll be back. All right, this is a T40. And it's 250 inch pounds, which is 20.88 foot pounds. I went ahead and did the conversion. So I will put it back at 21. screwdriver to abuse. Hmm. Wasn't really expecting any resistance on this.
There it goes. It was just corroded on there. That's lovely. I guess it's a captive bolt. So, maybe not. It is not a captive bolt. It just has an O-ring holding it on there. So we'll drop that in there. Put the O-ring back on. A little bit of Loctite. Or thread lock. So uh, one of the things that's interesting is um, there are actually tension indicators and when this mark gets to here the belt's worn out. I didn't know that. So we just line this up. And before I do, I just want to hear how quiet that is and how easily it spins. That bearing is toast. And I could replace the bearing, but I think it's wiser to replace the whole assembly. Let me get my torque wrench set up. 21 foot-pounds is kind of small, but I think this one will do it. So I've got it set up for 21 foot pounds. And there we are. That is all there is to changing this. I promise you it is a lot easier with the engine out of the vehicle. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful in evaluating the condition of your pulleys. Um, you know, these, these get a lot of work, so it's something that needs to be in good condition. All right, I, and I was going to replace the water pump, but I've decided to skip that and just, um, there's nothing wrong with the existing water pump, so I've decided to leave it alone. Same thing for the thermostat. Nothing wrong there. I'm not going to fix what's not broken.